just tell us your background as to how you got into real estate. Right. So I got into real estate. I was, a, you know, going through college to get my degree in computer science. My father started flipping houses. And when I was growing up, he was a contractor for a real estate investor. And so as a kid, I, I would go to the demos and I would have to, you know, haul out the, the junk and all the stuff from the demos of the houses. So I got an early taste of that. But my father was a contractor at that time. So in college, he began being mentored by the person he had done a lot of contracting work for in the past. And I just saw the joy and like he it's just like a whole new him. Like my father, it was just I'd never seen him like this. He had always struggled in his life. He had always, you know, started in, in different businesses that didn't succeed. And, you know, we had to move year after year, sometimes getting evicted. And, you know, it was just a, a rough, rough time. And I've got, you know, three other siblings. But in college, you know, everything, it just all broke loose for him. Like he he was just having so much fun talking about the deals he was doing driving around town. And I just felt this, this surge within me. It was like, oh, I want to do that too. That's, that's what I want to do. So I started part-time also uh, getting into the business. And he, he works the small towns around San Antonio and I worked in San Antonio. So the relationship was really, well, you go find out how you want to invest, whether that's fix and flip or rentals or whatever. You just go and learn what you want to learn. When you have an issue that you come against as you're taking action, call me. Right. So it wasn't hand holding. What do I do next kind of thing? You know, that that relationship was like a mentor relationship. And then his mentor also was available to me, too, whenever I had questions, which was great because it forced me to take action and, and make mistakes. And I tell people that one of the first I think it was the first contract that I did directly to with a motivated seller. I signed the contract. Then I went to the title company and I was in the parking lot and I had to literally call my dad and say, what am I supposed to say when I bring this inside of here? I, I didn't even know that step of it. But, you know, the beautiful thing was I was out there taking action. Right. And even though I wasn't, you know, well versed in all the different things from from putting a deal under contract to getting it sold, I was taking action. That was the important thing. So was in the business part time for three years. I was making good money as a software developer. It was really hard to leave that steady paycheck. And uh, they let me go, thankfully. I guess they caught on to the fact that most of my day was spent, you know, on real estate investor forums and things like that. But anyway, they let me go and I became a full time investor. And, uh, you know, my ex-wife and I ran that for eight or nine years alone. And then we started bringing it on a team, which started with my brother in law. He was one of the first people to bring on. And uh, and we grew that team and learned a lot uh, after we joined the masterminds. And that's where we started really systematizing the business and uh, a great book called Traction by Gina Wickman, you know, really showed us how to operate the business like a true business. Mm -hmm.